I am Blake Cabot. I am the owner of facepay.com. And today we have, as always, uh, the wonderful, the fabulous and glamorous uh, Marcella, Barst uh, Marcella Bustamante. Or Lord, was that that was not what I wanted to do, how I wanted to do that. Um, and uh, so today we're doing some Christmas designs. She's been painting them for uh, last couple of days and she loves these designs. So she's going to share them. And uh, it's always uh, fun and uh, fabulous to have Marcella here. So Marcella, take it away. Hey, how are you? Uh, yeah, so I was telling Blake, yes, this is one of my favorite classes because I don't have to think about, you know, oh, what I'm going to teach. I just pick uh, my my board uh, from, you know, the last weekend. And then, I mean, not my board, my menu. And then I'm going to do as many as I can, fast, uh, easy Christmas designs. Okay? So, yeah, let's start with a candy cane uh, mask. Okay? And... Okay, so... I'm gonna use this Filbert 2XL. Uh -huh. You can get any round five or any thick brush. You want a thick brush because you have to paint the, the red. Uh, okay. 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 All right. <laughs> so what, are we, what are we painting? Uh, candy cane mask. Candy cane mask. Okay. Yep. So we're going to uh, simulate a candy cane there. Mm -hmm. And then over there and right here. Thinking in this infinity sign uh, shape. Okay. Hello, Maryland. Hey, Maryland. Okay, and with the same brush, let me do this a little bit thicker right here. Okay, with the same brush, I'm gonna do a few teardrops. And then right here. Here in this one, to make it smaller, I use the brush from the side. Okay, sideways. Then I'm gonna say, take a uh, Thinner brush, round two, to make the, the red stripes. Uh -huh. Over there. Of course, if we let this white dry a little bit more. Hello, Saki so from Southwest France. Hi. Hello, Western Massachusetts. Oh, Bernadette told me I shouldn't interrupt everybody and, and say where they're from. I should sort of hold it up for a little bit. So I'm going to try to do that. <laughs> okay. hey, Kim. I'm in Boston today, so I'm not, I'm not mm -hmm. near you, Kim, right now. Ah. All right. So. Ah, saludos desde Navarra, España. Oh, España. I'm going to Spain next. October, after the UK convention, I go Spain? Want, yes, I want to go to Spain to visit my friend from mm -hmm. the elementary school. Yes, I miss her. <laughs> All right. So once I do this, um, I'm going to start adding a few more teardrops in white. Mm -hmm. Take the small details. You can do dots right here in the center. And right there. So how is everybody doing with the Christmas season? BC? <laughs> um, how many uh, reindeers have you painted? I'm, everybody's busy. I mean, I think that's a, that's a given. Uh, yeah. Mary says hello from Ohio. Uh, Jen is hello from Boston. I'm in Boston right now, Jen. So very very nice to have you join us. <laughs> okay, so the star one is over there, and then we can add some dots here and there, following 
you know, the direction. Mm -hmm. If you have time, you can outline the, um, the candy cane. I'll do it really quick, so I think we are on time. We paint four hours straight uh, and um, Saturday we were three face painters and we didn't stop, not even for one second. So we did a lot of... Can't ask Mas Macho, Marcella or Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. This is an what old Saturday Night Live skit, I promise you. There's a, anyway, I, yeah, okay. That's just... <laughs> All uh, right. Hello, St. Okay. Louis, Canada, and Ohio. All Dayton right, so area. we have the first one done. Oh, wow. what I brush were you using there? It's going to be, uh, I use the Filbert number two, and then I use a round two. I mean, Filbert 2XL mm -hmm. and a round two to make the outlining. And, and just, just what brand were they? <gasps> Blazing brush. Oh my God. I think I Best know. brushes for face painting ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take a screenshot if you want. That's a Three, beautiful design. Two, one. Okay, done. Uh, I don't like to keep the, the paint designs on it. in the board because, you know, the black sometimes is hard Makes to it, take yeah. off. And hello, Maryland, Scotland, and Glendale, California. Hey. Uh, how is Francesca? Oh, uh, Francesca is good. Now she's in um, volleyball practice. She has a tournament this weekend. So I won't be able to do any gig. And it's okay because I work a lot this weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Okay. I'm planning to go to a hotel with her. She's doing great. Um, uh, mm -hmm. What are you spraying on the board? Water? Water. Yes, just water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now I'm going to, to do um, a tree, a Christmas tree. And I'm using this three-fourth angle brush. It's not a long one. It's just a regular one. And oh. this paint. Oh, so here it is. Um, this one comes in the Christmas palette from the easy one, the easy stroke, mm -hmm. the Susie Amaro's one. So I'm going to use this one stroke. Okay, I'm going to go through a lot of people all at once. Hello uh, from Stavenage in the UK. Hello, North Carolina. Uh, somebody is busy with Christmas bears. I love, I, I love this design already. Love that design. And hello from Belgium. So that was that. And... Uh, Hello from Western Mass. Okay, I got that one. Hello from Ohio also. And and especially as I should say, hello, Blake, from the better side of Massachusetts because the best is from the West. I agree. I'm, I'm normally in Salisbury, Connecticut, so I'm pretty close to that. Um, <laughs> and hello, Richmond, Texas. Uh, I seriously love your script liner brush. Its eights are essential to me. Oh, yes. The, the number three? Mm -hmm. the, the three, the script liner three, it's one of my favorites. Yes, it's beautiful. And Susan said her round two is an awesome brush if anyone is wanting to replace their hard to find low Cornell. A hard to find, impossible to find because low Cornell yeah. is no longer making them. Uh huh. Yeah. Blazing brush is better. Best is from the West. That's absolutely true. <laughs> yes. Okay. So it's, Blazing brush is not plan B. It's just blazing brush uh can they buy the uh boards from you by the way yes yes you can buy the boards mm -hmm. yep and in the back there you cannot buy the children i just want to say that for the record no we do not. i can borrow them for a weekend but, but <laughs> just... only under special circumstances <laughs> yes all right so i'm gonna load very well this brush and i did this C shape. Mm -hmm. Of course, in a face, we have wider space. And here, I, I may have something, you know, in the air. But you know this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to start doing this motion like this. 
and I'm gonna go from big to small, all right? Doesn't have to be perfect, just like this. You can leave a negative space there between one and the other one, one layer, you know, and the other one. Just wiggle it. Just like that. Boys love this design. It's easy. You don't need any technique. Just now, if you have time, you can add some snow. I'm gonna add the snow too. That's a fun tree. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with a white uh, paint and a wrong pipe brush, I'm gonna make the snow. Hi, Becca. And I'm gonna place it right here, just in the bottom, just like this. Dominique says this is quick and effective. I love it. Yes. Super quick. And then a little star over there. If you have a stencil, you can do the stencil. And now with the same brush, or I'm going to use this one. It's a filbert four. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the ornaments. Um, the blue and yellow, I think. Okay. Mm, doesn't show up very well. The blue ones, yellow on top of that one. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tita says, Marcella, I love that your brush handles don't chip. Great quality brushes. Oh, thank you. I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, Berenice says, um, I love it. I used to start on the top to the bottom. Okay. Yes, you can do it, but I don't know. I feel like I have more control if I start from big to small. Yeah. If not, I think I will have, you know, like the widest pine tree in the world <laughs> for me. <laughs> okay, like that. And then some dots. Yeah, something like that. Okay. All right. There you go. So we have the second one done. Take the screenshot if you want. Absolutely. Three, two, Kim says, one. quick and amazing tree. Love it. <laughs> you can make it smaller too, you know, if you want. Okay. So this one is with one stroke. Now I'm going to do. Do these boards have it. names? Like the, the, Francesca I, I, and Augusto. Francesca and Augusto. Okay, perfect. And Augusto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to do this one, the ornaments. And the ornaments, I'm going to make them with light blue, like baby blue. I'm gonna make... You are just blazing through these, uh, um, these designs. Yes, I told you, I have been painting them the whole weekend. So. Dear Lord, two designs that were only 15 minutes in. I don't know what we're going to yeah. do. I mean, you're going to do, you're going to be here talk. for an hour. We can talk <laughs> later. <laughs> I, I guess so. Maybe we'll just kind of chat yeah. around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, that's that's so. what they want to see. They want to hear you and I just, uh, yeah, blabber yeah, away. Maybe no. they want that, right? Yeah. No. No, they, want, they want to see so, you. Yeah. Because we're doing the, in a plastic, in a, pra a practice board, we need to take, you know, all the excess out in order to to paint. Yes, because I wanted to do the the more realistic that I can't, but sure. I can go slower if you want. 
I'm joking. I, I love it that you're going fast. It's, okay, okay, okay. It's, it, I, I was just teasing. Um, okay. uh, someone's requesting the Grinch. I don't know if we're doing the Grinch today. Oh, I hate. I'm sorry. I don't like the, the Grinch. I hate the Grinch. You know, sorry. No can no. do. You know what I do when uh, I'm painting with another um, painter, another face painter? I send it to them. I mean, I have one that I can do it, but... No, I don't like it. No, 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 no. We don't want to. We don't want to tor torture you here. Here. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm doing another one right there. We at facepaint.com do not recommending torturing face painters. It's just one of those rules that we have. <laughs> little things that we think that make a difference. Yeah, it's like the kids. You know, when moms force them, and I said, don't torture him. So wait, maybe next year, maybe for for them to like his writing, but. He doesn't want it. And uh, another lady says, Hola, saludos desde Mexico. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Estuve en México la semana pasada. Qué lindo. Me encantó. Amé, 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 amé. I love it. Uh, so, le voy a dar un poquito de, I mean, um, a little bit of shade to this one. Teresa is mm -hmm. thanking me for hosting these videos. Thank you for hosting them. Well, it's it's honestly, uh, it's a great pleasure for me. It's um, uh, it's just a great opportunity to learn, uh, both from you guys. I get a lot of product ideas. You don't think I do, and I don't pay attention to them. And there's a reason you think that, but I do actually pay attention to them. And then I go, you, I say, you Look, are paying attention, Blake? I, I actually pay attention. It's oh, okay. it might be surprising to people after all this time. <laughs> When I, so on, on Kidvention, I, I want to see you painting. I want to see you I, with a I, I cannot board. paint. I can't <laughs> paint. I really, I, you know, I've almost thought about trying to learn how to paint because I, I feel like I need to. I feel like I've been around it so long. I uh huh. <laughs> you That's should. Terrifying. Grab a brush, a blazing brush, and then, you know. Try yeah. It. Yeah, exactly. Why not? Oh. I, I, I did. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, no torture for you. I don't do. I don't do the Grinch, so you don't try. No, no. To. I, I, I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna do it at some point. I don't know when. I don't know. I gotta get past a few things, but I think I'm gonna try to learn. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join Inspiration Paint and just start trying to paint. Yes. Yes. That's, no that's the way to learn. Just yes. No pressure. Just try. You know. And. And have fun. Okay, so I'm gonna start decorating the the ornaments. Well, here's a question: How many people hate the Grinch? Like, I mean, is it just Marcella? Because the lady that was asking about uh, Hannah was asking about whether she about the Grinch. She she hates the Grinch too. That's why she wanted to see it. Does everybody I, hate the Grinch? Yes, it's horrible. I don't know. I I hate it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that's that's um Kim says not one of my favorites but I'll do it. Nicolin says oh, she hates the Grinch. <laughs> I hate it too. Yes, too much green. Yeah, everybody hates the Grinch. Uh Grinch is okay. Yeah. Snowmen how however are the clowns of winter. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Yes, I'm not going to do the the um, the snowman today because I, I did it uh, last last time. You remember when we were with the, with the other girls for the mm -hmm. 100th anniversary? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Denise Cole just posted an awesome girl Grinch. So for those that have Denise. And oh, Karen, okay. Karen, this is her favorite. She loves the Grinch. Really? And Berenice loves the Grinch too. Okay. There's face oh, paint. He, he, <laughs> Kids love it so much. At the end of the day, I'm there to make kids happy. Well, that's a true point. I mean, we at facepaint.com recommend that kids should be happy. I think that's true. Yes. Yeah, that, that's always a good point. But the thing is, I do not offer it. You know, if they ask me, I well, if I, I'm a, by myself, I do it. But Joy loves it. Joy loves it's it. It's not that the thing that, oh, yeah, do you want me to paint you the range? Uh-uh. And Dominique hates it, but she painted it all this weekend. <laughs> so there we go. I think the the, 
the one that I most enjoy is uh, the reindeer. But I think you have seen so many reindeer, so that's what I, I'm not going to do it today. I mean, if you want, I can do it. Uh, Prima's Grinch in the blending class was great. That's true. Prima, mm-hmm. is, Prima's great. Prima does fabulous stuff. Is Prima Barton? Uh, I, uh, Prima Barton, yeah. Yay! Hi, Prima. Is there? Oh, she's doing one? She's doing a class? She did a class a couple weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago. Uh, no, uh-huh. a month ago. And she was doing a blending class and she was doing things like the Grinch because she was showing the different ways of blending greens and things like that. So I think that was it. Oh, okay, okay. That's nice. The Denise well, Cole Grinch is, is, is going well. Um, and Connie says the Grinch, if kids love the Grinch, it's a favorite. So that's that's a good and no, Norma, it's embarrassing, and I don't paint. It's just, it's just, I'm, uh, yeah, it's all true. It's just all true. <laughs> I, 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 I have never said I could. I'm sorry to say it. Uh, here's a good interesting question. I asked to do faces at a young body be- birthday party this weekend. Uh, uh-huh. Any ideas on how to stop kids from moving? Uh... Drug them. Um, we had face paint. No, no, we don't recommend that. Uh, well, uh, what I do is I sit them in a chair, in a high chair, mm-hmm. and they are on the side of my body. So I, it depends, it, you know, it depends the age. So if they're so little, I ask the parents to be there and, and hold them, you know, mm-hmm. on their lap or something. So, but sometimes they move more with the parents there than by themselves because they don't have the, how do you say, confianza. Like they don't used to see me and so they stay still. They decide to stay still. But if not, I, you know, I say them, hey, um, do not move just for a little bit, you know, hold on. It's this going to be quick. And if they keep moving, I, Honestly, I try to finish as fast as I can. I don't talk to them. I don't mind if the design is not pretty or not complete. And I always, you know, the the design that I used to offer to the very little ones is the pirates. Because Mm -hmm. the pirates is choose the red on the forehead, the bandana, and that's it. If they move it, you know, then I try to do the line work and the knot right here. Some mustache, and that's it. Hi, ah, here's another idea. Monica wears a mm-hmm. face painting necklace, and the kids love looking at it and ask questions about it, and they sit still because of it. Ah, so she wears a necklace that that's kind of gets them distracted. That's always a good idea. That's what a set of yeah. keys always used to do when I was a, my back in my era. Um. Yeah, the blending class is still viewable. If you go to um uh. Face Paint Com four one one group, um, all those videos are still available, and I, I'm sure it's there. And talking about classes, uh, I may want to invite you. I have a workshop uh, starting next week. It's online. It's in Spanish, mm-hmm. but uh, in the future will be in English. But I don't know. Maybe some of you are. You know, speak Spanish. I want to do it. It's going to be about one stroke designs and techniques and everything. That sounds awesome. And they can message you to find out more or how should they find out about it? Uh, they can go to my website. Okay. It's uh, blazingbrushsupplies.com and find the word uh, workshop. Oh, no, bootcamp. I'm sorry, bootcamp. Okay. And then, yeah. It's only forty-seven dollars. It's three-day class. It's a three-day class. Uh, when I'm going to support, like the first hour is gonna be the class, and the second hour is gonna be um, feedback. I, I'm gonna give you like feedbacks and review everything we learn in the class, or you know anything you want. A um, couple more ideas on how to keep kids still. One is the infamous claw. I hold the kid, uh, uh, hold the top of the head uh, to steady them. Uh, that's one way. 
And the other thing is, uh, Kathy says, I talk to them and tell them everything. I'm going. I'm doing it as I do it. So, okay, the reindeer needs some ears. Uh, now he needs some spots on his head, that kind of thing. So, and okay. another thing Berenice does is I talk to them and said that this is going to be fast and I count. And, and, or if they're able to count, I invite them to count with me. Okay, that's good. That's a good one. That's another way of distracting them. Okay, well done. Uh, also, a face painting apron, and I cover it with pins that kids look at. It helps. Also, I rigged a mirror I wear around my neck for the little wiggly ones. They can watch me painting them in the mirror. That's ah. a clever idea. There's a lot of people that have dealt with this. We should probably just have a class on how to keep kids still. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now uh, they can't. Uh, Jen writes you can't find the boards on your site, or uh, but they're they're on your site as well. Blazing yes. brush supplies. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. And if you can't find, if you cannot find the the workshop there or the classes, just email me. You know, to info at blazing brush, or send me a text or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So, Connie does the same kind of apron thing. She puts rhinestone pins on it with a gecko, elephant, birds, and oh. um, and that that's one way of doing it. Oh, and sometimes I sing with them or say deep breath in and deep breath out and do that with them. Okay, well, that's that's <laughs> clever. All right, so I think we're done with yeah. this one. I okay, wherever because we were talking, so uh -huh. I don't want to interrupt. Well, no, I'm sorry. I, they asked me wonderful questions. That's a beautiful design, yeah. says Hannah. No, it's, uh, I mean, nice conversation because some ideas, you know, we help each other. That's a great question, how to keep the kids you know, moving. It's, 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 right. a, it's a real thing. Uh, yeah. Hello, Illinois. Uh, the practice board's on blazingbrushsupplies.com. Uh, so if you mm -hmm. want that, that is where you can find them. And there's only two options, Francesca and Augusto. And they'll come together for a better price. Okay. But, so you, but you have more than two children, don't you? I have three. Yes. But and what happened to the third child? Just not oh. as good looking? I mean, has a big <laughs> wart in his no. nose? Just thought, okay, well, this one's yeah. too ugly to do a board. I mean, what's, what's, what's the story here? No, he's handsome too. But the other one is the eldest one. I don't know. I don't think he's going to post. You know, for me to do this, it's going to be embarrassing for him. Oh, He's 22 oh. years old. Well, that's true. I that's think, 22 yeah. years old. It's, yeah, it's yeah, pretty yeah, rough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All okay. right. So I'm going to erase this one. Oh, and uh, where are you going to uh, You're going to be in Michigan, uh, Dominique mentioned. Uh, where where yeah, in Michigan? Dominique? Yes. I'm not sure. Uh, Dominique? <laughs> She's there. She knows. She has more information. She's helping me. Jackson. To set everything. I guess. Jackson, I don't know. Jackson, is Jackson. Uh, I think she sent me the information, the address, but honestly, I, I don't know. Oh, sing to the, <laughs> the little ones, "Wheels on the Bus." I love the "Wheels on the Bus" song. I play uh -huh. that. That's a great song. It's gonna make me cry thinking that my children were once young. They're not. They're just not young. Oh, uh, this is a this is an old strategy, and it always worked. I smile at them and tell them what a great job of holding still they're doing. They, the praise seems to make mm -hmm. the ones want to keep trying. Oh. Ah. Okay. What's the what's the next design? You've got okay. uh, uh, thirty minutes left, just to let you know. Okay. So the next one is going to be. Um like a mask or a butterfly, but green with some holy in the center. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I'm gonna use this um, petal sponge, mm -hmm. this, this, this corner, this side. And I'm gonna load it with, let's do this one. This green. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to start right here in the inner corner of the eye, just pressing the yellow. And then as I go up, I press a little bit more the darker part, mm -hmm. keeping this uh, triangle shape. Right. And then other side, the same thing. 
Blaze, no. I didn't say Blake. I said Blaze to my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping that was the way this was going to go. I mean, it could have gone the other direction. I would have, I would have tried to roll with it. But yeah, I'm glad I was about the dog. <laughs> I thought we had a better relationship than that, uh, Marcella. So I, I would have been a little disappointed, but I, I would have gotten over it, of course. But it, it would have hurt. It would have hurt. I'm not, I'm not going to lie about that. So it would I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I did that, no, the little three dots, or, uh -huh. you know, there just to make the leaves. Uh -huh. And then, of course, I'm going to keep the lighter color inside. And same thing here. If anybody wants to go to the Michigan show, clearly Dominic M. House is the person to talk to on Facebook because she, she's mm -hmm. got the info. Yes, she's helping me to put everything together. You named your dog Blaze? Blaze because of blazing. Because uh, of the brushes. I see. Yes. So you use your dog as a marketing opportunity? Fantastic. <laughs> Maybe. I just paint his hair. I uh, I can paint his hair in purple, you know. Oh, no, 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 don't tell me it's so. Uh, Al Alessana says her, our dog is named Blaze as well. He's a Cocker Spaniel. What kind of dog is it? Oh, mine, it's, um, I don't read it. I don't read it. Hold on, it's an Argentinian one or from Switzerland too. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's, okay. Yeah. it's only your dog. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, it's just my dog, but I forget. <laughs> you forget what kind of dog you have? Obviously very attached to her dog. Doesn't yeah. know the breed, but just but but it knows it knows it's a dog it's not, and feeds it. No, but right? I can't remember. <laughs> As long as you feed the dog, that's the part where I where I draw the line. I feed him and I walk him, and I'm a good mom. There you go. Yeah. Is the green oh, color Bernard. placement? Oh, uh, here's a. A San Bernard. A what? A San Bernard. Okay, I, mean, I still don't know what the hell that heck is. It's okay. Um, is the green color placement not symmetrical on top on purpose? Let me see how you see it. Is it is, is well, the green symmetrical? Well, no, I try to make it symmetrical. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not on purpose. <laughs> there it. we go. You Don't know? fix it. Don't worry about it. That's fine. St. Bernard. Oh, you have a St. Bernard. I try, yeah, I try to keep the, the dark, you know, up, out and the lighter part inside. And yeah, kind of. Yeah. Let me see. There you go. Okay. Better? Yeah. No, well, it was always good. Um, you know, uh, Monet's water lilies. If you ever go to the museum and see Monet's water lilies, um, uh -huh. Monet, not a bad painter, painted over it several times. It's, uh -huh. it's, it's not unusual in art to paint over things yeah. when they, when they yeah. aren't exactly the way you want them. Uh -huh. So <laughs> if grandmasters could do it, we can do it too. Of course. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to use uh, script liner number three, mm -hmm. which, you know, it's one of my favorite ones. I have two of them in my kit because one for dark colors, one for lighter colors. Emily's and... right. The line work is what matters. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right, so here I'm going to start um, with the main line. Right here and right here. Okay, then I'm going to do the eyes. Extend this part right here just to make the design more interesting. And then Uh, what is your favorite paint brands for your white and black line work? Uh, I have two. One is uh, Fab Lux, and the other one is Diamond Effects. Okay. Diamond yeah, sometimes effects. I grab this one, and sometimes I'll... both. I like both. 
All right. So once I have the main lines, I can uh, I can start to fill it, you know, with the other lines. Mm -hmm. Just with teardrops, same thing here. And you can play with thin to thick or thick to thin lines. Yeah, just have fun. Bring this one inside, just close or frame the eyes. And then here, a couple of teardrops, thin ones. And Yep, that's her daughter. That's her daughter. Yes, this is Francesca. When she All was right. nine. I was surprised by that. Yeah. And I'm going to frame this. How's the name? What's the name of this? The red thing of the holy. Uh, or is part of the holy? Yeah. That's a good question. I'm pretty I'm sure blanking. someone knows this. Come on, girls, you know this. <laughs> okay, and here. Berries? The berries. It's okay. the small fruits of Lex is what it really is, according to Wikipedia. You Google it? Yeah, berries. Yes, I Googled it. Or it could just be that I'm an AI and we don't, and I just, I just know all these answers. That's the other possibility. And here, because it's going to be too dark, I'm going to make this series of uh, teardrops over there. Mm -hmm. Just to finish that. And then I can add some highlights. Mm -hmm. I need a lighter, I mean, not lighter, um, a larger brush to make those large teardrops. And uh, I'm having the script liner three. If the design is not very symmetric with the second color of line work, you can help that to make it look symmetric. Oh, and uh, let me copy that from Queen's Moon as well. So this is the link to the boards. If uh, I think that's the link to the boards. Okay, and then I can add some manchitas. I don't know how the name of this. A couple of teardrops, just to fill up that space, a little space. Yes, this kind of practice board has the dimensions a little bit more realistic than other ones. That's yeah. why I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's it's, it's, the eyes are not as realistic on some like the Sally Lynch boards and things like that, which are wonderful mm -hmm. boards. Um, mm -hmm. And here's a link to the uh, the workshop that Marcella was talking about. Okay. It starts on the 12th, on December 12th. And it's go, it goes on 12, 14, and 19. So you have, you know, a few days free in between. So you can practice. And if you have any questions, then when you come back, we can talk about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the green mask, holy mask, holy moly. I don't know. Okay, three, two, one, take the screenshot. There you go. Okay. Let's see if I can do the screenshot here. Oh, yeah, I can. All right. So, oh, when I put the water, it looks better, more brighter. Brighter, no more brighter. Okay. Oops. Mm -hmm. This is what the blacks does. <laughs> 
here's the okay. Yeah. So okay. Okay, and then I have I have um, a uh, any tips on using a script liner number three? Um, Bell is having some problems with it. Uh, you have this this one, the script liner. Well, it depends. If you like thin brushes, and this one is a bit a little bit. Uh, how do you say? Uh, fifth, fifth. Oh, uh, script XL. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, don't do like really small. Uh, swirls. Mm -hmm. Try to make them longer. Elongate. Mm -hmm. You know that. Um, let me show you here. So instead of doing this, mm -hmm. you know, just make this and then you can like hug that little. Of course, you can make little ones too, but not too close. Mm -hmm. Muy uh, cerraditos. Very See? separate. I think that's what mm -hmm. I meant. So I think that's what that translates to. Yes, like no too like but because you you cannot have the control of the length. Mm -hmm. But if you make them long and more open. Okay. Love that flow. <laughs> In the words of Kathy. Um, and the, the price on the website, that's for the old, for, for the total three days or for each one for, is that the price three, for one day? Three days. Three days. You get that's three it. days for just one low price. Yes. Three days. It's two hours uh, each class. The first hour is going to be the class and the third, I mean, the second one, um, just answering questions and, you know, depending on how many um do we are you know uh so students we have i have i will have time to answer all of the questions mm, i don't know and this time we are 20 yep so and the the last day to subscribe is gonna be on wednesday okay so rush yeah. out rush out yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> And um, it's in Spanish. That's correct, Kim. It's in Spanish. Yes. And it's online. Yes. yes. Online uh, and Spanish. Yeah. Uh, Teresa wants to name the name of that brush that you just used. This one is a script liner three. Script liner three. Which you wanted to make long and elegant um, designs, lines. Right. Work. Okay. So I'm probably do the frozen one using mm -hmm. this 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 brush just to. Um, we're gonna Bella. We're gonna be doing, uh, mind you, it will be in May, um, but it, we're gonna be doing a whole uh, ABCs on brushes. So we'll, uh, uh, yeah, we'll we'll get some mm -hmm. questions though. Um, but what is the difference between a round and a script brush? Uh, it's l l longer the script. Well, it's longer. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. Let me see if I have. Okay. See? Let me see if you can see the difference. So the the, the blue one is the regular three, and mm -hmm. the other one is the script liner. And I love this one. <laughs> this is the three, the script liner three XL. Mm -hmm. So it's extra. It's. Uh, it's like that. turning it up to 11 in Spinal Tap. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, yes, I, lo I love longer brushes. That's what I do. I create this Filbert 2 XL 2. Oh, wow. They're, those, they're, we're getting overwhelmed with, uh, with, with brush questions. Okay, cleaning brushes. Uh, will cleaning brushes be included in that? Yes, I would think so. Especially when the bristles are beginning to separate. Um, any tips on... And how to get better with reverse teardrops? Hmm. Mm, well, always the loading. It's one of the best thing that you have to. I mean, one of the main thing you have to pay attention. 
the loading of the brush, you know, the consistency of the paint. You want to have this creamy haze. Of course, it's going to depend on the weather where you live. If it's too cold, it's going to be hard to get this consistency. And if it's Florida, like right here in July, it's going to be, how do you say, pegajoso, like homesy or like like a gum, like, you know, sticky thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where do you live, is it, is, if it's cold or not, but the consistency is the thing number one. Then the brush, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And so the question was the reverse teardrop, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to practice them uh, in a, both in both directions. Let me do this. So this is a regular one, and then reverse. I do like a pivot. It's gonna be like a, an airplane landing. You know when mm -hmm. you come right here. Then press and then pivot. Okay. Then press and pivot. And you're going to be pressing more and more and more. You know, you you can do, if you do this, this is reverse too. But you can make like the petals or the flowers with that. And you can do like the middle size. The other thing that you have to think is, do not have all the paint in the tip if you're doing reverse because this is going to happen. You're never going to have the thin line there. Uh -huh. Okay? So if you're planning to do all reverse, just take that excess out uh -huh. and then start doing that. Got it. See? And... I was about to say another thing. Okay, the first one that you do, that I do, is the regular one. So I leave the majority of the paint over there. And then I do the reverse. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when the brush is not too loud, too uh, full, I can start from very, very, very thin. Okay. Okay, awesome. Okay. Um, when you clean your, mm -hmm. uh, actually, um, Dominic says she uses your filbert brushes for teardrops, and it was a total game changer for her. Yes, it's beautiful. The, the number two Excel. Yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's beautiful. And how do you clean your brushes if you're using alcohol paint? Uh, well, these brushes are not for alcohol paint, but. When I, I use them anyways for the um, waterproof paints, mm -hmm. the body color ones. Yeah. So once uh, I use it and I dip it in the alcohol and then in coconut oil okay. just to moisturize the, the hair. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I have to sense. clean it very well because if not, it's very oily. But every... Two or three times I use the brush, I dip it in the in the coconut oil. In the same in the event, I mean, no every three events. I mean, every three or two or three times in one event. Okay. All right. Uh, Evelyn says on your workshop the times will be difficult. Can she sign up and watch it later? Yes, the classes are gonna be there uh, in Zoom until. December 27th, so okay. for more than one week. Mm -hmm. Anna says you are the queen of line work. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so oh, she <laughs> wants to see, uh, Alicena wants to see your kit. Like when, my you, what? You go, when you go to a show, what do you take? Oh, my kit, my kit? Yeah. Yes, I can show you my kit. Uh, well, I take, let me show you, little, I mean, part by part. <laughs> I have my Chroma Caddy uh -huh. here with all the 
the one stroke that you use and, yeah okay and then here i cut the center so i can place this one the fusion palette uh -huh. so this i have this i have another chroma cali the same one but filled with um solid colors then i have i can i can send you a a picture, a really nice picture if you want, Blake, and then post it. Oh, well, yeah, post it. Uh, just um, go look at her picture. Facebook page. She'll post it yes. on, on her page, and she, she'll, she'll show you a picture of her kit. Yes, How it's that? better than showing you. Yeah, you know, it's show and tell is a little hard to get the picture. Yes, yes. So you can yeah. see how and why I put the colors in the way. For example, now, okay, I'm going to give you like a, a little, uh, how do you say, from a... Uh, Something in advance that is not in the market yet, but this is the max, the Chroma Cali max. But what I want to show you is not in the market yet. It's coming soon. What I like, you know, from these palettes, even the little one or the, the max, is that I uh, place the rainbow colors right here, and then I bring all the shades down, everything what I need. So it helps me me to pick the colors and combine the color. Mm -hmm. It's sure. because it's already there. So for me, it's easy. I don't have to think. And it yeah. looks better. Yeah, Kim, this is, the, the, she's creating her own cakes. There's no, like, the, the, that's not her paint or anything like that. Yeah, absolutely. You can use all brands that you want. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And every brand tells you don't mix paints, but every brand is wrong. And you can pretty much mix any paint you want. Now, uh, there was a request to see your arm again, the paint that you just painted mm -hmm. on your arm just so they can get a screenshot. There yes. you go. And okay. Right there. there you go, Becca. Okay. Um, we have seven minutes. One more design, ah! I think. Okay. Sorry, so... I got you distracted. No, no, no. It's okay. You can... I can... I'm a woman. I can talk and play. play, play. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Is that, is that the definition of women? I, I didn't know that. That's that's of good. To know. That's, we that's can good. do more than one time at the same you time. You can juggle and have children. It's amazing. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to load um, my three-fourth <laughs> angle brush with this neon. This one is from the EC Stroke palette from Susie Amaro. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make uh, like a, a real-time princess design with one stroke. I, my hand was in the, in the way, I know this. I wish Francesca, my daughter, let me paint her, you know, for this. It's going to be better, but first thing, she's busy. Please. Thank you. I just keep thinking it's Blake. I really do. I, I really do think it's Blake. <laughs> Blake, please. Stop it. Just stop it. Uh, Hannah says the Chroma Cat has been a game changer for her. So, thank you. Oh. <laughs> so Cheryl's dog is barking at your dog. <laughs> this is the magic of the internet, isn't it? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna bring uh, some green, maybe here, some shimmer green, something clear. Okay. Okay. And I'm taking the excess with the dry part of the sponge. Uh -huh. And Kathy's dogs are barking too because they. Uh. Too. So everybody's <laughs> dogs are barking. Your your dog is setting off worldwide chaos. <laughs> 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 you should do a, another Zoom, you know, all about dogs. All about dogs barking. I think that would be face a great Face painters' dogs. Yeah. Face painters' dogs. <laughs> Tell me you don't really face paint your dog. No, no. <laughs> I think, I think no. that would be wrong. <laughs> I don't know why it would be wrong now I think about it, but I think it'd be wrong. Uh, yes. 
So I'm gonna use this the Scribbliner XL. If you are new, new in the face painting world, I do not suggest this. But if you are bored of using the same round four brush for your entire face painter life, if you could move your hand a little bit out of the way, yes. Thank you. This. There you go. Thank Let's you. See if I can bring this closer like this. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, so was you perfect. can. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. So you can try something different. And of course, this is very, very long brush. And you can use it as a reverse teardrops or with another one, mm -hmm. with the regular mm -hmm. ones. But you don't want to do small uh, source. Okay, because you have no control of this part of the tip of the brush. You just have to make them, you know, follow like the natural shape. Mm -hmm. hmm. I have to close the. Okay, always thinking in the focal point right mm -hmm. here. Like this. And then you can go on top of the blue or just see that I'm not doing anything small. Mm -hmm. And you don't need to load the brush very often. Now the eyes. And then load it again. You can make some dots because it it holds a really um, nice amount of paint. What was that sound? Oh my my dog! <laughs> you have a big dog. I think that's what we're getting out of this story. He's huge. He's, He's 110 huge. pounds. 110 or 107? Yeah, 10. Wow. That is a big yeah. dog. Yeah, he's huge. I know people that weigh less than that. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay, so well, let me see how it looks. Okay, I think I have to do something right here because it's to separate this and I don't like it. So, just to let you know, we're running out of time. Running what? Out of time. Okay. Almost done. Okay, you can make this whimsical line. Beautiful. And then, okay. There we go. Um, thank you as always, Marcella. Um, it's, uh, always fun to see what you do. You always get a big crowd. Uh, everybody loves seeing what you're up to. So that's fantastic. And, um, and check out her, her, uh, upcoming webinar on her, on blazingbrushsupplies.com. Mm -hmm. And, uh, next week, uh, we will have on the job butterflies with Frida Haas, um, I saw our butterflies at the ACE show and we were going to do something else. And I thought, oh, let's do the butterflies. This is great. She does great butterflies. So, um, uh, so we're doing that next Monday. And then after that, we're going to have the great Matteo Arfinetti doing a zombie Grinch. For those that wanted Grinches or hate Grinches, I promise you that is going to be a really scary Grinch. It is going to be terrifying. Okay. So and who is the, the instructor? Uh, Matteo Arfinetti. Oh, of course. Yeah. Mateo, but this is going to be in January, so you can't get it before Christmas at last because we're going to the, the next little one's going to be we're going to take a couple of weeks off uh, after Christmas. And no one's going to want to show up on the 1st of January. We figured no one's really going to want to show up the week before Christmas. So anyway, so it'll be uh, next week and then after that we'll be off for a little bit and then we'll be back January 8th. Okay. 
Okay. So thank you all. I hope you found this a fun and productive time and uh, I'll, and I'll talk to, we'll have uh, Marcella back in May. Um, talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good okay, evening. Okay. Thanks.